First one on the list and his name is Don. I'm gonna thank him first. He gave me 20 bucks for my charities. <laughs> nice. Very good, Tom. Thank Very good. Good work. Thank you. Now entering Nerdist.com. And welcome to this week's episode of the Half Hour Happy Hour with Allison and Alex. I'm Allison Hayslip, and I'm Alex Albrecht. Each week, uh, we will sip some new, sip some booze, and spit some news for about thirty minutes. For about thirty you minutes, really fuck this one up. <laughs> you know what? It's early. I did. Yeah. <laughs> this is what we call the amazing intro. All right. Uh, with us, as always, the best uh, audio engineer, flight engineer, uh, extraordinaire yeah. of podcast history. Wow. Uh, Tom Super Volcano Crash. Hello. Tom. How are you? Thanks for having me. Uh, how you guys doing? How was your weeks? Good. Good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now we're I gonna, feel like we should talk about. I feel it. like we should talk about it because <laughs> I was like, I don't, I don't know what else to say. I know. So <laughs> Alex and I, Alex and I had and a discussion. Tom. And to, oh, well, no, yeah. Oh yeah. Yes, we, had we the were all. Yeah. We had the discussion. Yes. We all went not together. The boys went on one mm. night, and I went on another night. We all went to this thing uh, in Hollywood <laughs> this past week where. We don't like being negative Nancys. No. I, we almost so didn't we were, talk about it. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we almost didn't talk about it, but I feel like it is but a discussion t- topic. And we should talk pr- previously about the ramp up, the, yes. the experience of, of getting there. Okay, so here's the deal. A f- about six months ago, yeah. if you lived in Los Angeles, the, it got announced that there was going to be a Star Wars Cantina pop-up bar. Yeah, the most Eisley Cantina. Yes, in Hollywood. The yeah. location was not given. It was just like, there will be a, a cantina. Yep. You can buy a ticket now. Yeah. And of course, it's sold out immediately. And tickets well, were like 50 and they, bucks. You couldn't even buy the ticket now. They just said, this is going to happen. Oh, really? And then Nerdist picked it up because right. like, why wouldn't they? Yeah. And then everybody was just camping on the website because mm-hmm. they were like, a, a reservations open soon. Yeah. And that was two months of camping the website. <laughs> yeah. Which, and by the way, we all know about Comic Con tickets. Yeah. We all, we. Yeah. As a as a group, the nerds, yeah. Yeah. the nerds, we know how to camp websites. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, like that is that is part of the toolkit, <laughs> right? Of being a nerd. A nerd is knowing how and is when. Is that a good to, nerd or a geek nerd? Uh, either one. Okay, either cool. One. A nerd. Uh, it's one of my favorite sketches on Attack of the Show. Is the nerd sketch? Oh, I never oh, saw never that. Saw okay, see, oh my god, you have to see it. It's freaking great. I was I think on it was the for... show for four years, and I yeah, never saw I'm it. Sort of surprised. Weird. Anyway, point yeah. is, we all spent fifty bucks. We got these sixty. Sixty. Yeah. Oh, 60. Shit. Sixty. See, my friend bought them, and I paid her back, so I kind of don't really remember mm-hmm. what it was. Um. Anyway, we. Then you have to make reservation. Like you bought the ticket, and yeah. then you got the ability to make a reservation for a time. And again. They were ill prepared mm-hmm. for yeah. us, yeah. Because the, the site first kept day, oh, the site kept yeah. crashing. You had to buy tickets through some like ticket uh, uh. company, and then you had using that reservation number, were allowed to come back and set up an account to then reserve oh, the tickets on the account. So the wow. date, the date that they gave us on the site that we originally bought the tickets was not the date that we ended up with. So I told oh. people to meet us there on this date. And then I was like, wait, hold off. I don't think that's going to be the real date. Oh, it wow. was an Close. utter shit show. Yeah. Just to get the <laughs> ticket. See, I didn't even know that part because like I said, yeah, I right. got the ticket. Wow. Okay. So anyway, Alex and Tom went Tuesday night. We went and like the very first open Tuesday yeah, night. It was the I first think Monday, slot. Monday yeah. was a friends and family night. Oh. I, think it, I think it was open Monday, but only for friends and family. Got it, only got it, invited got a crowd. Mm-hmm. Alex and Tom went Tuesday, and I was going Wednesday. We were talking all about this at Tom's 40th yeah. birthday party, yes, very which was excited. so fun. <laughs> Thank you. Happy birthday. You have a lot of friends, Tom. Uh, yeah. You're Thank you. very popular. Right. Thank you. Um, and here's the thing. Okay, what's the thing? With the lead up, mm-hmm. they made a lot of promises. Mm-hmm. There was they a did. lot of things on the site that Seven. now are not there anymore. Oh, so, did they take them off? Yeah, like originally it said oh. the Cantina Band will be there. Oh no! Oh. It was like there will be a Cantina Band, and I, that was part of the like. Oh! Yeah, yeah, okay. I even looked up. I even looked up if there was going to be food there because yep. I was like, oh, is this like a dinner right. thing? Yeah. Right. And then it was like menu will be posted on our Facebook page the week before, right. and I looked on the Facebook page and there was no sign. They of never it. posted the menu. And then that's why I texted. So so anyway, Alex and Tom yeah. went the night before, and while they were there, I texted Alex and was like, oh my god, how is it? And his response was, <laughs> we'll talk after. <laughs> and I was like, oh, it's not good. Well, I didn't want to. First off, 
Well, no, I know what you were trying to do, but yeah. I, I just know you, you so well. You knew me that I wasn't like, it's, you're going to yeah. love it. It's going to be amazing. Exactly. You're like, exactly. that's not like, Alex. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Something's wrong. Uh, <laughs> and I, by the way, I was sitting there looking at my phone like, what do I tell her? No one should what be on say? their phone at this thing. You know, lots of people were on their phones because mm-hmm. oh, it was so boring. Off, yeah. It, you, so you have a two hour window. To yeah, go. we haven't even gotten into what I the know, thing is. I know, I yeah. know. So here's oh, the other sorry. thing, though. It said, like, costumes uh, not required, but recommended. Yeah. And I was like, awesome. Yeah. That means most people will be in costume. Did you guys so, dress up? Fuck yeah, we What did you guys up? dress up as? Uh, uh, Tom was I dressed like up as Tom. Jones shirt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, fine. Tom, Tom and his wife came from, like, <laughs> first off, his wife came from a Star Wars meeting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so well, it was like, and she did look. She kind of dressed like a Hoth kind of. Yeah, oh, cool. it was very sort of like Hoth Leia. Nice. With the, the rebel necklace. Yeah. Um, our friend uh, Susie was sort of like a nondescript Cantina alien. Yeah, just like sort of it. like a party face, yeah. you know, with like glitter eyes Ooh. and like a thing, and then sort of like this, yeah, and like yeah. pom pom ears, and then your uh, wife had a cool costume. Yeah, so then Heather thing. went as basically sexy Han Solo nice. slash generic sexy smuggler. Oh, okay. <laughs> so she looked. I mean, she looked like Han she, Solo, yeah, but she looked good. yeah, but it was a cool yeah. Costume. lady Han Solo, lady Han Solo. Our friend went as Empire Han Solo, oh, cool. or nondescript, yeah. y- you know, smuggler. Yeah. Uh, and then his wife went as a Jedi. What did, right. what or a did, Sith almost, which is really cool. What did you cool. dress as? I <laughs> dressed as a non-denominational space pilot. You wore okay. your Voltron jacket. I, I, well, I wore the and Voltron jacket. you give me shit for not dressing up. And you well, wear but by Voltron the way, jacket. that is a custom-made costume. By the, yeah. per, the person that made that jacket <laughs> made the, 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 uh, the um, clothes for contact. Ooh. Like her, her space nice. jumpsuit for contact. So it's okay. cred. Right. But anyway... So we all dress up and we get there because yeah. you have to go like back. It's like an, you enter through an alley. You have to enter through an alley in the middle of Hollywood and Hollywood it smells mind, like yeah. urine. Oh yeah. God. It was that I was like <laughs> that whole exchange was awkward. People yeah. were like yeah. trying to back their cars out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. One of the guys was like, Hey, so the guy that owns the, the upstairs, you know, just so you know, we kinda of blah blah blah. And I'm like, What why is it why clearly getting, yeah. there is no and then the worst was one of the guys running the fucking thing. Walked by this lady who was dressed as Ray yeah. from uh, Force Awakens and was like, Leia! <gasps> no! no! And then she goes, uh, Ray! Wow. And everybody, oh and that was the first moment where I was like, You're like, oh, oh fuck. This is here. not for yes. me. So this when you're is waiting in line, at me. This is, yeah, that's exactly what it felt like. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't for us, it was at us. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So you're waiting in line and they give you. Two tokens, which they're like, these are your drink tokens. You, yeah. With your ticket purchase, you get two drinks. And they're like, you can get a drink that is on the menu. They make right. it very clear that it has to be on the menu. Correct. You can't just... I didn't know what that meant at first, but when you, re- you when you walk in, you realize, oh, you can't just order like a vodka soda. Right. It has to be one or of their... Or a glass sh- of wine. Right. It has to be one of their shitty mixed drinks. Sugary or, mixed drinks. Yeah. yeah. Or beer. Like, yeah. That was it. So you got these two tokens, and then you got like a ticket so you could pick up your swag at the yeah. end. The one thing I'll say is yeah. smart that they said, here, we're going to give you a ticket so you don't have to hold your swag. Right, yeah, right. for but when you walk out. swag? I mean, swag. like... Well, yeah. So anyway, you walk into this place. <laughs> when you, they finally open the doors, and you walk in. It it feels like you're walking into a shitty rave. It's you, like there were are. smoke machines and <laughs> lasers. lasers. But also, and the hallway like, walking... Like, you, once you get past the door... The hallway going down is shitty Hollywood bar mm-hmm. hallway. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah, you walk by like shitty, decorated. horrible bar <laughs> bathrooms. Right. And then you get to the yeah. one room that is like, okay, that's where we we made it. Yeah. And you're like, all it's, of it's this not a should big have been room. done. No, and it's not a big room. No. Yeah. And it's like, they're just such like low hang. As we said all night, all we kept saying was, we have notes. Yeah. We have notes. Yeah. yeah. Like the whole staff. Yeah. None of them were None in them costume. Were Not I, even as generic alien. I know. Oh, yeah. The bartenders were all just wearing. So they, they ended were just up naming Hollywood bartender people. Yeah. I think they realized they couldn't keep calling it the the Mos Eisley's Cantina, so they kept calling it Scum and Villainy mm-hmm. Cantina. Mm-hmm. So they were all wearing shirts that said, just said Scum and Villainy Cantina. Yeah. Which come on, yeah. lame. Uh, they're dressed like a fucking yeah. tauntaun or something. I don't know. Just um, just put a tunic on. Yeah, a fucking yeah, brown exactly. tunic. And like, then, literally, I will if say, you go back to the cantina because we went back and looked. Yeah. <laughs> those are not high quality uh, sci fi aliens. <laughs> it's like dusty fucking dudes in robes. Yeah, like, put on a fucking brown bathrobe. Yeah. you would be so much more in character. So they did. The, the room itself looked decent. It, it that was it, the best it, part. It looked was it like just the felt, cantina? Yeah, it yes. felt fun. It had like odd things. happening. Hanging in the middle of the bar, yeah. like that was weird machinery and stuff like mm-hmm. that. Lots it, of fog 
it, machines too. Lots of fun. Well, so that was the thing machines. that made me think like if the lights were on, it wouldn't look that good. <laughs> oh, totally. It was like, like lit. So it was lit yeah. like a fucking rave. Yeah. Um, but the, the, and this was the thing that like I walked in and I was like trying to have really high hopes about it. Yep. The thing <laughs> where the thing where I was just like, nope, I can't do it is when I finally saw the menu oh, yeah. for the drinks. Yeah. And the drinks, they're like, they have clever names, you know? Yeah. The first drink on there was Vulcan's Blood. <laughs> You I was know, like from Star Wars. I'm <laughs> yeah. like, they have a Star Trek themed drink at a Star Wars bar, and then yeah. I realized all the drinks were just generic, nerdy named yeah. drinks. That yeah. none of them were Star Wars themed. Yeah. and that's when I went, "Fuck you guys! Yeah. Fuck you guys! You totally just capitalize yep. on all of our love for Star Wars, yeah. and we're like, if we do something that kind of sounds like Star Wars, people will pay sixty bucks yeah. and come. And guess what? Which guess we what will. we did? Uh, yeah, we but will. But I'm not going back to that <laughs> shit. Well, no. and that's the thing. Is I told people not to go. Like, I had oh, yeah. friends. I had friends who didn't get tickets, yeah. and, and they opened Me it too. up to the public at eleven o'clock at night every yeah. night. Oh. I told them not to go. Yeah, it's yeah. twenty bucks to get in at, at that point. <gasps> oh, there's still a cover. Oh yeah. Oh shit. I was like, <laughs> oh, yeah. I was literally like, look, if you happen to be in Hollywood and you happen to be there around eleven o'clock and there happens to be no line, sure, pop your head in and see it. <laughs> but not if you're gonna pay twenty bucks. Yeah. And I had friends that were like, I'm on the wait list for tickets, and I was like, do not go to that. Mm-mm. But yeah. it also made me go because. First off, a like every like everything, yeah. The, you bring the party to the party, yeah. right? So yeah. it's like we, yeah, which I is why with, I said like dress up and make people. it your own. We yeah. still enjoyed ourselves for yeah. two hours, <laughs> but that was the thing. You basically paid sixty bucks to sit in a generally themed bar yeah. and have two shitty drinks. Right, yeah. that was it. And then you walked out with a pint glass. That was and your. By swag. the way, I don't know about you, but about halfway through, maybe even more like a third of the way through. The whole place was almost empty. People were yeah. leaving. Everybody left. Yeah. They would yeah. just stay there for like 10, 20 minutes and they'd be like, yeah. uh, this is lame. And right. they would leave. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, God, that's got to. Well, and the other thing <clears throat> is like maybe socializing would be fun there, but they had a DJ there who was playing music that was so fucking loud. Oh, you couldn't talk to it people. It was so loud and it was like just top 40 DJ mm-hmm. shit. Like it, there was not even, like I had even said, like just put the cantina music on loop. Right. Nobody's going to complain. <laughs> no, yeah, that's Nobody so true. Nobody so would true. ever be like, seriously, can you spend something else? Yeah. Nobody. Yeah. But it so, it, it so to me felt like, like some douchey Hollywood bar guy yeah. was like, I got an idea. Yeah. Let's get the nerds in here to party like it's in Star Wars. Yeah. Let's look at Star Wars and see what that means. <laughs> I know. I mean, it really just felt like I, nobody I mean, cared. It's so epitomized by that guy. I mean, I obviously wasn't there for that, but a yeah. guy who called Ray Leia. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. My That's wife, exactly what my it wife is. didn't want her drinks, that her drink coins, because they were so sugary. Yeah. So and yeah, I, was, the, I didn't want them to go to waste because I paid the money for this. So I drank her two sh- shitty drinks. You took I, I drank mine too. <clears throat> I was Probably just drinking else's. wine, so I, I just got, gave you my I got thing. Drunk. Oh, so you actually paid money? Yeah. You had to pay yeah. for the extra drinks. Oh, yeah. and we ate. Oh, yeah. Because we thought it was dinner because yeah. it was food. So I was no, like, oh, it's us That's why I, I it did was text fucking, you about that again. Literally, was like, it was like space tacos. $10 nachos. Oh, yeah. It said like space tacos. It said yeah. space tacos. I think, tacos. I think, I think we got, <laughs> yeah. I think we got galactic <laughs> oh queso. Galactic yeah, queso. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. had queso. So it was like, it, it was even shitty bar. But then like, And the galactic the guys, queso was like heated up cheese whiz. I know. I know. Watery. The whole thing was just like. But it made me realize you could really do that right. Yeah. Yeah. You could really, really well, do that. I was right. telling my friends, I think I talked about this on the podcast, but when I went to London, not this past year, but the year before. I don't I know did, if you've said it on the podcast, but you told oh, the me se- at the Secret place. Cinema thing. Yeah. So explain Secret okay. Cinema. I, I don't want to explain this... it too much because it is called Secret <clears throat> Cinema. Oh, well, that's true. I feel like I talked about, well, whatever. I'm sure we have new listeners There's now. Four points? Uh, Might maybe. have been that far back. No, no, no. This was in like 2015, I think. Anyway, yeah, in whatever. London, they do this thing called Secret Cinema. I actually looked it up. I think right now they're doing a Moulin Rouge one. So they do it for all different kinds of movies. Um, and you, you you know, you buy a ticket and it's about 100 bucks. It's like 80 pounds, I think, which is about, well, at that time it was about 100 bucks. Yep. I don't know what it is now with Brexit and all that. Yeah. Um, it's and, $17. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and like you, 48 hours before it starts, you have to fill out a survey. And you, based on your answers on the survey, they assign you a character, oh. and then they say you have to dress like like I think I was a farmer of some sort. Oh, a moisture farmer. Uh, yeah, yep. and so I had to dress in certain colors. I had to have a scarf that had yep. certain colors on it, cool. and they were like bring seeds. I'm like, what oh. the fuck? And then 24 hours before it starts, you get sent a map. 
like a very blank looking map and you have to figure out what part of London this map is and then you <laughs> realize where the location is. They That's don't even cool. give you an actual address. That's you have cool. to like so match great. up landmarks and you have to find this place in London. Yeah. And then you get there and it is like a fully immersive experience. And I don't want to give away too much because you, you, you shouldn't know too much going yeah, yeah. in. But mm. but everyone's dressed up mm. and you go through like you literally walk into this warehouse, this abandoned warehouse, and you're immediately greeted by everyone in full costume. And yep. they are like rushing you through this. You have to board this ship. You what? quote unquote take off. You land on Mos Eisley. Yeah, you get yeah. out and you are in like the town what? where there's sand on the ground. There's actual merchants where you can buy food and stuff That's from. Cool. And yeah. you're wandering around and you realize mm. that. You're slowly starting to pick up on a story, oh, and because um, there there are some actors there as well, there are some people yeah. who are there to forward the story. And so I started to realize that because I'm a farmer and I have seeds, I was able to trade my seeds to Jawas. There were Jawas, that's awesome. And I got to trade my seeds to Jawas to get a piece of a like some sort of random equipment. What? And then that I got to trade for something else, which then which then got me passage on another ship <laughs> to escape. Jeez. And we took off in this other ship, and then we got captured by the empire and then we literally got ushered off the ship and put into jail on some one of those like star cruisers or something like that and then we got broke free wow. by someone i mean you and then it culminates in actually watching yes. empire strikes so, back well that so this is what i realized is we we loosely lived a new hope uh, we had a two and a half hour experience of living through a new hope got it and then we sat down and watched empire that's so and smart. You, you're sitting in these huge warehouses with like 600 other people watching this movie so everyone's like stoked but while you're watching the movie like the, the, they have Luke and Vader actually having the lightsaber battle up on the risers above the movie like Amen. you're watching it's, awesome. the, it's there's still an experience going on that's what I thought this cantina was going to be oh because after <laughs> even when, if it was just a light version of that that would have been amazing the movie, you get to go straight into the cantina and it's a fucking dance party with the band oh like, my and it's God. awesome and you sit there and you drink and you just have fun with all these people and it's so well done yeah that the, the the theme of the night was we have notes. I mean, because like uh, honestly, <laughs> you you're in fucking Hollywood. Uh, you know yes! how many actors yeah. would kill to just right. portray yeah. some random fucking Star Wars person <laughs> know. in a bar for two hours. The only thing I can think of is that they announced this thing. They had this great idea, and then Lucasfilms or Disney or whatever was like, you can't fucking do this, and they had to make it so watered down and generic. That this is what it ended up as. I mean, but even even if that is true, yeah, even if that is true, you like the music could have been. I so I got into the into Bucephalus and I asked mm-hmm. her, I asked him, you know, oh. play cantina music from most the most Eisley. That's cantina. Alex's car for yeah, anyone who car. doesn't know. <clears throat> Bucephalus. And there, what was played was sort of like this, like bouncy, like this generic version yeah. of it, yeah. Play that, yeah. 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 Lucasfilm can't get mad at you if you're yeah. playing fucking cantina Something inspired jazz by. Yeah. that sounds like the cantina band, right? Yeah. Or I mean, they played like the one thing that people were sort of like, "Oh, cool," was they did. Although that when the two like music moments happened, right. was when the music was way too fucking loud. Oh, I know. Because uh, they well, played and also the it was so loud that it made thing. me it made me think that something was about to happen. Right. Yeah. Like when they turn the music up, it makes everyone stop talking. And I'm like, oh, we're supposed to look at something. Yeah. And then I was just looking around and my friend's like, what are you doing? I'm like, don't you feel like something's about to happen? She's yeah. like, yeah. I was like, why is nothing happening? Yeah. The worst the worst kick in the nuts, I think, of the whole Jeez. evening was when for about five seconds, the most Eisley Cantina song yes. came on. And I was like, oh, finally. Yeah. And then I realized, and then explosions happened that were way too loud. It was just yeah. this weird, loud, weird thing. I mean, and then the lights sh- turned on. Yeah. And I went, oh, it's they played leave. the Cantina Band song for five seconds right before they were like, get the fuck out. Yeah. Like, come I mean, they, on. They actually had those like obnoxious DJ sound effects that are like, burr, 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 yeah, burr, yeah. Burr, burr, oh, burr, yeah. Burr. And you're like, what? Yeah. It was, it was so, oh. it was so. Anyway, I'm sorry wrong. we just shit on something, but it, no, it just. I, and we wanted to love it yeah we yeah. wanted to love it but it's just one of those things where it's like again it wasn't for us it was at us Vulcan's yeah. blood. don't add us <laughs> no don't add us ever no hey. don't add us ever and by the way just call one you know that those people <laughs> had at least one friend that was actually super into star yeah. wars mm-hmm. just call that fucking person <laughs> just say hey will you come over and make sure yeah. that this is not pandering i know and they'll go vulcan blood pandering <laughs> yeah <laughs> One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Oh, man. I was so like, angry when I. Why are that? you not yeah. wearing just tan shirts? Yeah. I mean, honestly, honestly. Yeah, tan shirts. Tan 
fucking shirts. And like a fucking shirts. scarf wrapped around like your neck. Like one of the dudes that came was like, uh, what are you waiting for? And I was like, oh, uh, we're supposed to get two tacos. And he was like, oh, yeah, I'll be right back. Clearly was like one of the big like idea guys. Yeah. So he was wearing a salmon button down and fucking yeah. slacks. <laughs> what? Yeah. What? <laughs> Come on. I know. I know. <laughs> Uh, uh, maybe anyway. it'll get closed down. Maybe Lucasfilm will close it down anyway. So well, it's people only around to for like a couple of weeks. No, yeah, two months. Still get June, two months. June 4th, I think. Yeah, I think it's April 4th. Don't go. June 4th. <laughs> Don't go. I mean, anyone. honestly, the if you have tickets. What if we're the, what if we're the voice that brings down Villainy and Scum? No, it's, you know what I mean? Scum and Villainy? <laughs> scum and Villainy. Uh, I would feel sad because I, I didn't want to break anybody. I know. But I just feel like there should be some warning out there for yeah. people. And the other thing is, I went because we almost didn't talk about it on the show because we were like, we don't want to badmouth something. Yeah. Um, but then we had that weird, awkward moment right at the beginning of the show. Like, like what I the don't fuck know what we're supposed to talk about. That's the only thing on my brain. Uh, but um, but I, I look, went on Twitter because I was like, I wonder if these guys are getting slammed by a bunch of yeah. people. And it was probably about 50-50 for people that were yeah. like, 20 bucks for this. This is stupid. Yeah. And then people that were like, oh, my God, I had so much fun. We dressed yeah. up. It was great. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, you know, there it's- was eight of us that were there. We got a corner booth. Right. Looks like a fucking corner booth in most sides of the yep. cantina. Yeah. We're all dressed up. We sit down, and I'm standing up looking at back at my friends going, this is fucking rad. Yeah. We go stand by the sci-fi bar yeah. that looks like the most size of the cantina yeah. bar, and I'm just hanging out talking yeah. with my friends. So there is there is joy to be had, so I don't want- If you want, go with yeah. the right people, yeah. but that's almost- yeah, you have to. Anywhere. I know, but there were times, like, there were a couple of people I would look, look over, and there's just, like, a guy sitting at the bar- just yeah. bored out of his yeah. mind. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, sorry, bro. Yeah. I, I, I would have maybe come by myself and thought this was a thing that what I could yeah. enjoy yeah. with people, but yeah. it's not Honestly, that. Honestly, because I went Wednesday night, when I didn't see <laughs> anyone in my social media feed post about it oh. that for the week, I was like, oh, it's going to be a problem. Yeah. 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 It's true. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Anyway. Hi. Anyway. Let's get some, let's, let's read get some to, emails. Let's read some emails. We have That'll some be... happy emails. We do. Happy would be Actually, good. we have a very, yeah, this is one that's interesting, and I feel like we might be uh, just the right people to answer said question. <laughs> Honeydew is the money melon. Yeah. Huh? Okay. Sounds good. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Greetings and salutations to the Triforce of Monday Hilariousness. Did Allison, the courageous. Ooh. Alex, the wise. And the powerful super volcano Tom. Yes. Hello again, uh, you masters of chatting news and sipping booze. Yes. Who is uh, this? this is from Bobby. Hi, Bobby. Bye bye. Uh, always a pleasure to listen to the three of you every Monday, and I hope you're all doing well. Just a question. Yep. After yep. hearing an interesting story about extras mm. talking in a scene and wondering if you could shed any light on its legitimacy. Okay. So, an extra in the back of a scene. Yep. If you're an extra, how do you fake talking? Someone uh, from someone's experience as an extra, they were told to use the words cantaloupe watermelon, watermelon. over and yeah. over and over and change the emphasis and inflection so it looked like you're having a regular conversation. Truth be told, I did this afterwards and it feels like I was it feels like it was could work given the amount of facial movements when I said those words. Yeah. But I wanted to see if you had come across this at all. Anyway, thanks in advance for reading this email. Keep on keeping on. Hope you guys someday make it close to my neck of the woods in Ooh. Canada. Sure. Canada. 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 Uh, so I can come meet you guys and bring you lots of treats. Canada's yeah. a big place. Farewell Canada. and valedictions. Bobby Lee, not secretly Robert E. Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Darn it. That's just that would be amazing. We found, <laughs> we found Robert <laughs> E. Lee had a time machine? Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. He loves uh, podcasts. When I did <laughs> plays... Plays. In like high school Plays. and stuff like that. If mm-hmm. if our characters were like on stage and supposed to be having a conversation but not actually talking because other people were talking, yep. we we said watermelon a lot. Yeah, watermelon. So the key the <laughs> key thing with when it comes I never said to cantaloupe, but watermelon. Cantaloupe, cantaloupe is the money melon. Watermelon, the money melon. Honey, honey, honeydew is the honeydew. money melon. Uh, honeydew. Here's the thing that's really weird about um, extra stuff in yeah. film and television specifically. Yeah. They cannot make a sound. Right. Because sound is very hard. The other thing is, is like anytime you see a dance sequence, oh yeah, you just know there is no music. <laughs> There's playing. no music. I know there is absolutely it's crazy. no music playing. If people are talking and people are dancing around them, there is literally no music playing. What they do is they play the music. Yeah, everybody starts dancing. Then they cut the music. <laughs> yep. Everybody keeps dancing. <laughs> yep. And then the scene happens. Yep. <laughs> so it's even worse because if you're in a play, you can kind of whisper a little yeah. bit. Yeah. But if you're like, you cannot. I actually remember this because I used to have this really hard time. <laughs> One of the reasons, whatever. I used to have this really <laughs> hard time uh, in my youth. Yeah. Of laughing 
at extremely inappropriate situations. Oh, no. Really? Like, if somebody would go, all right, everybody, nobody here laugh. Right. Yeah. I, You'd be I, like, I, I have to laugh. Yeah. Like, I had, I got, eject, I got ejected from a wedding, from really? one of my parents' you got weddings. Ejected no. from I, had, a wedding? I had to leave because I could not keep my shit together. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Because Alex. the moment it starts, uh, uh, elevators. Yeah. Like, you any just time. laugh in elevators? <laughs> yeah. Because you just get in there and everybody's so quiet. So cool. And all of a sudden, you're like, Boy, I'd be a real fucking crazy person if I started laughing right now. And, and then, then I was like, I can't, I cannot, I cannot <laughs> wow. not laugh. It used to be a real really? big problem. Yeah. And so when I was a kid, we got to t- go on a tour <gasps> at Paramount Studios. And you had to be quiet. Of the set of uh, Next Gen and then oh. the set of Deep you're, Space you've Nine. You've told us about the but, set but, visit. Yeah, but this, I've not never told anybody this part. Oh. <laughs> We're walking down the like main Hall, like the main corridor oh, yeah. of, of yeah. Deep Space Nine, and all of a sudden they're like beep beep, quiet everybody, and they were like, all right, and, it was a, and now they're going to start shooting. shooting. So everybody has to be extremely silent because yeah. the, the, the you know yeah. the mics can pick up anything. And I'm just sitting in the corner going, don't fucking laugh, don't, fucking, don't you oh my fucking gosh. laugh, son of a bitch. And then I heard it was like coming, and I was like, dead babies, dead babies, dead babies. I was like, dead How babies. Do you That's not- what you say to not no, laugh. I just was trying, like, what do I do? And then I was like, oh, this is interesting stuff. Like in my head. I'm like, well, right. oh, like the set looks so nice over here. You're like distraction, baseball, distraction. Baseball, yeah, so I sad. literally had a big like for a good chunk of like seven years. Wow. If ever That's there was a part funny. where I should not laugh, you want you need I to just laugh. Could not help yeah. but laugh. And so that was part of the problem with like being on stage yeah. in high school because I was like, don't laugh, don't yeah. you laugh, don't laugh. <sighs> Oh, I laughed during my friend's wedding. I was one of the the uh, what do you call it, groomsmen? Yeah, yeah. like nine of us, and we are we we're wearing kilts. It was an Irish wedding, Aww. so we we're all drinking beforehand in the limo, just getting <laughs> blasted. So we're up on the stage. It was like you know, big big fancy thing, whatever. And the uh, the priest had this. He was like so dramatic because he was an actor. Because oh, Ellis, everybody's an actor. Yeah. So he was just doing right. this. He was so overly dramatic, and I was just drunk. I was just laughing the whole time, <laughs> chuckling. Oh my god! And so I think my best friend's mom hates me for that because I was I was obviously quite noticeable. <laughs> Laugh a drunk man ceremony. in a kilt laughing. Dude, that's gonna be wedding. me at my brother's wedding. Yeah. <clears throat> I can also with my I I started um trying to get my little sister to laugh at things because if <laughs> I was because it's better you than if it was guilty? me. Ah. Yeah. And so every once in a while we would get into an <laughs> elevator. I could probably still do it to this day, but we'd get into an elevator with a bunch of random people we don't know. Right. And I could just <laughs> look at her and she would start laughing. <laughs> like I would just well, give her this look. Yeah. And she'd, she'd be like, shit. She, yeah, she'd go, she'd go, shit. what? And then she'd just start laughing and she's like, stop, stop it. So, I was like, I'm awesome. not doing anything. So I actually did one day of extra work in my life. Ooh, just one? Yes, just one. Ooh. When I moved to LA, like, like literally when I very first moved to LA, it was like a way to get your SAG card is if you did extra work and you got bumped up to a featured extra, you got a yep. voucher. And yep. if you got three vouchers, you yep. could join SAG. Yep. So I was like, oh, OK. Well, I, and like literally the day after I moved to L.A., I went to extras casting or whatever it was. Mm-hmm. And I signed up. And the very next day I got a call to be an extra on some medical show. I don't even remember the name mm-hmm. of it. It was like, you know, like Chicago like, Med. ER. Yeah. House yeah, yeah, yeah. Or what, one of those. House. But it was it was the lead was a woman. Uh God, I forget the name of the show. Yeah. I don't remember. They but come I, and go. I was literally like <laughs> hired to be a French maid. I was in a French maid costume oh. and I had burned yeah, yeah. my hand. So I was like sitting in the ER with a burned hand while someone tri- like the camera costume. like in a French maid costume. I know, I don't understand. I like it. this backstory behind Looking this back at it, I don't understand it. I play at Fleur de Lourdes. I know. But, <laughs> and, but I did one day of extra work and then I was like Oh, I can never do this again. Oh, it's horrible. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's like, like sit like and be quiet, cattle. but be yeah. goodish. But some people are professional extras. Yeah, so. yeah. Because so the whole concept is just to go deep dive on the extras. Yeah. If you have a scene right. that has extras, the first ten, if there, if there's under a hundred, the first ten have to be SAG actors. Okay. Really? Yeah. Oh. So there's a minimum number, which is why. You get sometimes get the bump, but I didn't because, get the bump in that. Right, but so that's what yeah. you're going for. I don't think I did at least. So you're shooting yeah. for if you're if you're not if you're not SAG actor, they have to have ten paid SAG actors. Got it. If one of those paid SAG actors does not show up, right, they then bump one of the non-union oh. actors gets their pay pay oh. stub nice. basically. Yes. Yeah. Got it. You need to get three pay stubs, yeah. and then you can join SAG. Right, right, right. So right. that so so. But, and and it gets b- bigger. Like we had, there was a scene in a movie I was producing that was going to be like 
150 people. And you're like, right. okay, 25 or 50 have to be SAG. There's a ratio. And the problem yeah. is, is that that's very expensive. Right. Like, yeah. and you really just need like a, it's like a camera pans by a room of people. Right. You know? Right. Uh, and so that could cost you five, six thousand dollars, right? Just because it's got people in it. Yeah. yeah. Um. So anyway, so that's what that that bump is. But there's a requirement, right? And so the professional union extras will get staffed yes. on shows. Yes. So you will have every show will yeah. have their cattle of ten SAG actors that are in every right, and they just change out the. So you can well, actually see, you can actually find yeah. the extras in the shows that are like, oh, that guy's always always in the thing. there. Yeah, yeah. He's well, just dressed in a hat. This I have time, a buddy. Or, I have a buddy who works on Lethal Weapon, and yeah. he was telling me this is the first time because this is like the first time he's a series regular on a show. So he's like there for every episode, and cool. this is the first time he's noticed. He's like, oh, the extras who are cops are always the same extras. They yeah. have the same cops. He's like, which makes sense. Like yeah. <laughs> that if you're in one town, you're going to have the same cops there. You yeah. Know? So, and a lot of those yeah. cops will sometimes become, will get bumped up into right. actual speaking. Well, parts. And this is what I was saying. Because he, they'll be like, we'll just know... have fucking Jim say the line yeah. that we need some random cop. And then to all say. of a sudden they're a co-star. But right. do you know that that's like half the cast of the office? Oh, funny. Cause no. they shot the pilot of the office. And then I believe it's Phyllis Creed and Oscar. Mm hmm. Maybe not Oscar, but definitely Phyllis and Creed. I believe Oscar. Maybe one more. They were cast as extras. Huh. Oh. And then the show gets picked up and they were like, well, shit, their coworkers wouldn't change. Right. So these people have to always be at their cubicles. And then as the show went on, they started giving them lines. Run out of yeah. story, but that's so why. Like yeah. But that's why they have their actual name in the show. Like Creed's yeah. name is actually Creed, and Phyllis's name is actually Phyllis. Like they oh, just they funny. just use their real names. And then they started writing. Like that's apparently funny. that's how Creed actually is. Wow. Like that's he is so just funny. kind of that weird and bizarre. And the writers were like, "Well, fuck it, we're not going to change it." <laughs> you know? it writes itself. Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Uh, all right, we have a submission. Oh, we have a submission. Ooh, submission. What does that mean? It'll be a picture of something gross. Sometimes you just have to swim, and it's a little kitten drowning. <laughs> it is Allison Hayslip's motivational poster, motivational poster. poster. There you from, go. I believe, last week. Yeah. Your podcast cover for this week. <clears throat> that is the podcast cover for this week. Oh, Sometimes you sure. just have to swim. Uh, so this is from Chris. Hi, Chris. Hello, queen of the yass. Yeah. And he said, can I be your king? Uh, Question mark. Woo, it's in parentheses. Sure. Yeah. Oh, nice. All right. You're so now you're the king, the king of the yass. Of the, yass. <laughs> uh, the, owners of, the owner of Bucephalus. Oh, that's you. Bucephalus. And the 40-year-old volcano. Jeez, oh, thanks for uh, <laughs> I hope this poster motivates more of your listeners to quit their jobs. Yeah. Oh. Wait, is that what I should be aiming for? Yes. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Thank you, Chris, for sending in the that's swimming cool. cat motivational poster. Sometimes you just have to swim. Yeah, Allison Hayslip. Deep man. I yeah, love we'll put it. it on the Twitter. We'll put it on the Twitter page. Nice. <laughs> I was like, I love when people do things like that. I like that the kid's just got its arms, its legs in the air. Yeah. It's not even trying arms to straight swim. Straight up, Cats just like hate water. It's like <laughs> fucking. I'm swimming. <laughs> I'm swimming. Allison says put you gotta do it sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. All right. Let's get into a story here. Story. story. This is great. Oh good. All right. What is uh, it? This is from uh, uh, Jules. Hi, Jules. Hi, 4H. Hi. Wait, hi, H4. Oh. I love the show. I mean, you, you, it all That works. was dyslexia. Yeah. Oh, I definitely have a little <laughs> yeah. of that. It's a light dyslexia. Yeah. I uh, love the show. <laughs> We've all heard me pronunciate. I know. Pronunciate? <laughs> pronunciate. The pr pronunciation. Pronounce? We've all heard you pronounce. Pronunciating. Uh. I like to pronunciate. Uh, oh I love the show. I love listening to you at work. <laughs> I found this story today, and, you know, it's perfect for your podcast. Oh, kind good. of regards, Jules. Okay, ready for this? So great. No, don't. I don't know if you guys saw this before, but I don't care. Fucking genius. I just like how excited you are about yeah. it. Woman arrested oh. for training squirrels yes. to Dude. attack her ex boyfriend. Oh my gosh. I, I feel like this was an April Fool's. What? Article. I read it, but it's Did real. You, you read it, right? Yeah, I thought it was an April Fool's joke. Didn't it come out on April Fool's Day? March 31st. Okay. That's so the day not. before. Day before. Crazy That's the day story. before. Explain. You can train squirrels, period? Yeah. So, 45 year old Janice Smith. God damn it, was arrested Janice. this morning by officers of the Detroit Police Department for allegedly capturing <laughs> numerous squirrels. Oh, my man. goodness. Training them to attack her former lover. How? Turns out she's an animal handler. Oh. And used to train lions at the <gasps> circus. She's she can like, train lions. I got fucking squirrels. Train squirrels. She's like, I can yeah. fucking. Not only did she Jeez. train the squirrels, yeah. she trained Jesus. 27 squirrels <gasps> and they attacked. Her ex-lover, 
I think like five times before oh he gosh. realized what was happening. Because he would just be like out and out and about, and all yeah, of a sudden, cause... squirrel attack. He lost two fingers. <gasps> he lost and fingers? a testicle. <gasps> oh my gosh! And squirrel he said, oh my nuts gosh. Miss. He said, "This is serious." <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I'm not. Wow. The poor man had no idea why squirrels kept attacking him until he saw his ex girlfriend. <gasps> A former, cir- a former circus animal tra- oh trainer goodness. cheering the animals on during one of the attacks. Oh. She was bare- partially hidden behind some bushes, but I could clearly see and hear her. She was yelling orders at the squirrels and telling them to attack ah, me. This is not a real story. See, that's yeah. nice. No. This Ready? is a real story. So they bust into, I mean, they. I have not it's seen a line. retraction. Hold on. I'm gonna it wasn't April quick. 1st. Uh, okay, keep talking. What? So, so. <laughs> so the police. So finally, the guy was like, "Clearly, this is not going to stop because it's my crazy ex girlfriend." So he filed a complaint with the police. So the police yeah. went and uh, found in her residence a dozen cages holding oh twenty seven squirrels. They also found two training Hold dummies. Hold two on. Training dummies. Wait. Hold on. No attack squirrels didn't gnaw off Detroit's man's testicles. What? I told you so. I was like, "This is insane." Had to be fake. But she, the picture insane. of her looks too crazy. Her mugshot looked way too crazy to be real. Three. He, she, is it? Did this you is from it? three days ago. <clears throat> I didn't snope. The good it. news is the good news is somebody sent it to us, so I don't feel so bad. <laughs> Detroit police say it never happened. A fake news story that's been circulating online lately reported a cross-eyed Detroit woman See? was arrested for training wild squirrels to attack her boyfriend. Damn it, Alex. She lost a testicle and two fingers you, to on. the rodent attacks. I, I was... Hey. Nope. Listen, I was ready to believe this. I so want to believe in squirrel Until you said he lost a testicle. And then I was like, that's insane. No, it does no. feel weird it's that the testicle... Oh, yeah. The, the Detroit police department tweeted, false news article, although we found this to be very amusing, is completely untrue. Thank you for the laugh. Oh, yeah. And her like her her mugshot, <laughs> she's literally cross-eyed. It's my, yeah. It's, it's crazy. Just because she's cross-eyed doesn't mean she can't break the law. <laughs> the cross-eyed well, people are the most... But she's also like smiling. It, looks, it doesn't look like she's actually cross-eyed. It looks like she's like purposely... Yeah. Making herself cross-eyed. Yeah. And that's what I. Mean. I don't know, well, guys. I'm just gonna blame Jules. A- happy April Fool's Day. Wait, where's Snopes? Oh, Jules. here we go. I'm going to. I'm going to Snopes. Jules did it. So Jules, it's not Jules. Damn it, Jules. <laughs> we just. Read a, I mean, that was amusing. Uh, I, rating is false on Snopes. Oh, I read it and I was yes. like, please God, be real. No. Just no. be real. And then I was like, Detroit. That's a good choice. <laughs> like I feel like some crazy oh, shit could happen the, there. The uh, the who did it? Shot, did they say? No, the mugshot is of actually of a Maryland woman who was arrested in 2014 for throwing bricks through her father-in-law's window. So that's an actual mugshot. Oh, it, oh man. It, but yeah, well, no, this is her actual mugshot where she's very clearly not cross-eyed or ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. She obviously took a ridiculous photo uh, that yeah. still got posted. Got it. Um, yeah. No. <laughs> oh, All right. That would have been nice. So disappointed. Fake news. We're now part of the fake news oh, train. Oh shit! What oh, did we do? Fuck you, internet. Fuck you, you fucked internet. Us up, Alex. You should have. You should have. I didn't do Jules. First. Everybody blamed Jules. Wait, when did Jules email this to you? Was it on April first? Because maybe Jules was giving us a f- April no. Joke. It was April sixth. Oh, okay, fine. Well, anyways, moving on. Jesus. You're so disappointed. All right, now we got to no, make no, up for that somehow. Do we have to decrown Jules from being the king of the asses? Oh. Was that Jules? No, that was the other one. Oh, that was the other that one. That was the guy who sent us the question about the. Oh, oh no. The Bobby motiv- Lee. Motivational the motivational poster. The motivational poster. Chris. Chris. Jesus. Shit. All right. We got you all down. All right, here we go. All right. This story seems like it could be an April Fool's <laughs> I'm joke. I'm ready to Google and it. And it actually isn't. Right, well, okay. I mean, I hope right. not. No, it's not. <laughs> uh, Thursday, April 6th. Okay, here we go. great. It movie. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's... Trailer for Stephen King's adaptation. Yep. Anger's professional clowns. Oh god. I heard about that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. So the trailer for Stephen King's It managed Why? to break records, being streamed 197 yes. million times wow. in just 24 hours. What? Yeah, it was like the most watched yep. trailer. <clears throat> While the majority of older viewers reminisced about Tim Curry's turn oh, as Pennywise yeah. in 1990, some were less than thrilled. To see the villainous clown reanimated, professional clowns are dreading another wave of anti-clown paranoia. God, that's been around always. <laughs> yes, it's it's going to be bad for clowns. To do with it. A 42-year-old clown who performs under his name Gilly for 20 years told <laughs> Mel Magazine, it's bad for clowns. It's ruining our business, says 33-year-old Nick Kane, known professionally as Mr. Nick. Mr. Nick. I love Mr. it. Nick. Another, clown, Mr. Nick. another clown who performs as various personas, including Ringmaster Roger and Humpy Pumpy. Oh. Humpy Pumpy. Retold his worried, retold his worried that, his worries 
that kids will stop booking clowns for birthday parties following the film's release. Uh, th- this guy says that he added kids how kids with deranged parents that would take well, them to see it. I know, right? Well, but we're, yeah. there's certain rated R movies that you're like, as a kid, you're like, like I remember Holter RoboCop. Oh, I was yeah. like, I have oh, to go yeah. see RoboCop. Yeah. I have to. It but is part RoboCop, of my I feel like it's rated R for a different reason than it is rated R. RoboCop's rated R because like a guy gets melted by acid and then hit by a car. Well, right, was, and like people yeah, get yeah. limbs blown off, but yeah. it is like <laughs> actually <laughs> about a fucking. <laughs> but it like clown a clown is actually like a fucked up thing. You know what no, I, I mean? Yeah, it's not it's just a, like it's yeah, gruesome. It's a supernatural clown. I mean, yeah. come on. Give the man. Now here's the deal. Here's the deal. Yeah. Okay. And and one of the clowns mm. said that uh, traffic to his Yelp page plummeted oh, no. following the trailer's release. Oh, no. Plummeted. Not his Yelp page. Uh, By the way, I feel like it would have gone up. Like, why would I don't know? People, like, I know. I feel like you could almost like g- mm. pull. You know. Lean into it. Yeah. 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 Forget kids' birthdays. Good point. Adult parties where you are fucking Pennywise. Alex. That's great. That's what we should have got in Todd for his birthday. A creepy. (laughs) Honestly, if I walked in and there was just this creepy clown sitting in the corner of Tom's house, I'd be Uh, like, fuck (laughs) off. Yeah. What happened? Because you remember we talked about that. Like, people were dressing up as creepy clowns and, like, visiting villages. And then there was, like, a whole train of, like, clown beatings happening. Yeah. Yeah, because you come on. Yeah. Don't fuck around, clowns. People just ran and beat up clowns, but well, it's like they, the clowns no, weren't they doing be, anything. No, they, but they, they didn't like go to kids' parties and start bumping no, no, to no, jump no, at clowns. It was the, the, it was the evil the clowns that were trying to terrorize the but, village. But my point is, is all, it's all these about villagers. terrorize the village. <laughs> my point is, is all these clowns were doing were standing on the sidewalk being creepy. They weren't actually yeah. doing And to anything. be honest, they might have just been standing on the corner being clowns. Yes. <laughs> and it's on us to be yeah. like, that's fucking creepy. Exactly. Like if people just got beat up. If there was a nice clown sitting on anywhere by themselves yeah. maybe holding a balloon maybe not holding a balloon <laughs> i would be like that's fucking creepy shit right. but it so and they actually said that look evil clowns have gone back have dated back to the early 18th century oh my gosh so it's not like a new phenomenon right but it was really john wayne gacy yeah, who, yeah. that knocked it all off because people didn't realize Jeez, that he was actually a professional clown at <sighs> children's parties uh, right and Scary. under under what is it what do you call pogo the clown and then what did and he do? And that's then the media. You don't well, he know yeah, he was a serial killer and yeah. rapist. Uh, but then he uh, the the um, uh, press named him the killer clown. Right. And so that's why, by the way, Stephen King's It is was oh, written right. and released and it, eight years after. It's a Scars Guard who's uh, who, who's the clown this time around, right? Is that who it is? is Pennywise. It? Pennywise. Yeah, it's one of the Scars Guard brother. One of the twenty six oh, Scars Guards. Oh, yeah, that uh, makes only, sense. Only to be championed by the Hemsworths. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah, I saw yes. a new Hemsworth was out, and I was like, what the? Wait, what? They keep pounding these Which things one? out. Fuck, not you mean, Chad, maybe? There's three of them, right? There's the one in uh, Westworld, and there's yeah. the Westworld Liam one. And- the Westworld yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. Because I was like, that's a one? Yeah. I knew, That's I knew, I knew Thor, and then <laughs> Liam, and then yeah. guy knew, from Hunger just, Games. You knew, you knew Thor and Miley Cyrus. <laughs> yeah, who's Miley Cyrus? What? He used to date Miley Cyrus. He used they to still skateboard do. I by think they're engaged. All the time. Which one? Liam. Liam Hemsworth, Hemsworth is engaged yeah. to Miley Cyrus. Which one's Liam? Is he's not? He's not. He's Thor, the right? Hunger, Hunger Games. Games one. He's yeah. Hunger Games. Yeah. 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 Jesus Christ, Hemsworth is. <laughs> All the Hemsworth. So many Hemsworth. My wife Hemsworths. loves Chris Hemsworth because he's yeah. so hot. Everybody loves Chris Hemsworth. She can so have, so hot he can right have her if she, he wants. Oh, well, there you that go. can be her one. There you go. I'll Chris ask. Hemsworth. There you go. <laughs> you can, yes, I'll, you text can I'll text him. Hey, <laughs> do you All want right. my friend's wife? I don't know. He just asked me to text you. <laughs> Take my wife, please. I, uh, I think it's time to wrap it up. Oh, yeah. yeah. Jesus. Okay, so uh, real quick, not real quick. I'm not good at doing this real quick. But you are better. As you guys know, I'm better. I'm better. I am in the midst of a 10-week campaign to raise over $100,000 for LLS, which is the uh, Leukemia oh, Lymphoma oh, Society. Oh, okay, don't make fun of it. No, Dude, we're I, we're come on. We're in. Enjoyment. You can take that. You can use it. I know. That. What? <laughs> Lola? Roll with it. Yes, and. Yeah. Yes, and. Leukemia and Lymphoma <laughs> Society, because yes. my uncle is currently battling stage four lymphoma. Uh, so if you, if I, I'm, I'm putting a call to action to all of the half hour, happy hour listeners, I'm asking everyone to donate 30 ish dollars yeah. since we are about a 30 ish minute podcast. Um, you should have people to go however long the podcast was the oh. day they go. I should oh. think, cause I think we just went over 40 yeah. minutes. Well, so. we're over 40 minutes yeah, now. Anyway. Uh, I mean, listen, I'm grateful to take anything. Yeah, Even yeah. if you donate 10 bucks, it's or five or 30 cents. I don't care. Yeah, I'll take yeah. it. You know, it's amazing. Um, I've tweeted out the link a few times, so you can go find the link there to donate. It be amazing and i want to give a shout out to all of the listeners who donated this week which there was still such a huge amount um yeah give them applause uh dan borgiorni yep dan, 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 dan roth 
John Maloney, Jeff Holland, Manuel Noriega. Manuel, Manuel Noriega? Noriega? What? Manuel Noriega. He was a guy back in the day. Oh, was he? Yeah. I think he's a guy right now because yeah. he donated. <laughs> uh, Bobby Lee! From- Wait a minute. Bobby, Bobby Lee! Lee donated oh, and we read his email. Talked about that guy. Perfect. That's Bobby amazing. Lee, way to bring it around. Bobby yeah. Lee, hells yeah. You're like a superstar fan right now. Andrew Dussel and yeah. Victor Lamberti, who I think is who we credit the name of Super Volcano to. Oh, uh, oh yeah. Victor, yeah. Yes. Oh, but I do have to say, a couple people, like when they donated, they said they were donating, like they had family members mm, yeah. who have fought this and are and are survivors, or they're donating it in, in memory of friends or something like that. Someone, I forget who it was, donated the the they donated something like fifty three dollars and forty seven cents because it's the amount of seconds that there have been half hour happy hours. What? what? Yes, <laughs> like five thousand three hundred and something seconds wow. or something like That's that. Amazing. Yeah. That Someone cool. donated thirty dollars <laughs> and thirty cents. Like uh, we'll take it all. We'll take That's it all. Great. So if you I can donate, so go smart. to my Twitter, find the link, donate yeah. this week. I'll thank you guys on next week's show. It's 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 been very successful so far, and I'm really I'm, I'm really proud of it. Very excited to be thank part you of guys. it, even in a small way. Uh, anyway, that is it for this episode of the Half Hour Happy Hour with Allison and Alex. You can please subscribe to us on uh, iTunes or Stitcher or Google Play or whatever you listen to us on. You can follow us on Twitter at Half Hour Happy HR. Uh, you can email us at Half Hour Happy Hour Fans at gmail.com. Uh, I'm Allison Aislip. And I'm Alex Albrecht. Sitting in with us, as always, the man, the myth, the legend, Tom Supervolcano Krajewski. Thanks for having Excited me. Excited to be you. reading your yeah. book. Yes. <laughs> your book? <laughs> He's going to make so, an autobiography called yeah. How the Volcano Tolls. <laughs> I don't know. It's going to be great. All right, guys. All right, we'll bye. see you next week. Bye. <laughs>